And it looks like Stuxnet, the cyber weapon allegedly developed by the U.S. and Israel to disrupt Iran's nuclear program, has had even further reaching consequences than previously known. Eugene Kaspersky runs one of the world's most renowned online security firms. He spoke at Australia's National Press Club on the issues of cybersecurity and cyber espionage. Take a listen to what he said. How many computers, how many enterprises were hit by Stuxnet in the United States? Do you know? I don't know, but many. Uh, last year, for example, Chevron, they agreed that they were badly infected by Stuxnet. Uh, the friend of mine uh, working in a Russian nuclear power plant once, it's, uh, during this Stuxnet time, sent a message that the nuclear plant network which is disconnected from the internet uh, in Russia. That's all that is. <laughs> we are paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> so the man sent a message that their internal network is badly infected by Stuxnet. That's right. If Kaspersky is to be believed, the Stuxnet virus infected a Russian nuclear plant that wasn't even connected to the Internet and damaged the plant's ability to function. To infect a non-connected computer, a pers person would have to either physically install the virus or trick someone else into doing so. And if you thought nuclear plants were bad places to get infected by viruses, get this. Kaspersky also mentioned that computer viruses are even an issue on the International Space Station, where malware on a USB stick once infected the station with a virus.